Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into You Are Not Your Brain, a transformative guide co authored by Jeffrey M. Schwartz and Rebecca Gladding, both esteemed medical doctors with profound expertise in psychiatry and neuropsychology. This book is an essential read for anyone looking to escape the grip of negative self talk and harmful thought patterns that dictate, I'm not good enough, among other detrimental beliefs. Through the lens of self-directed neuroplasticity, Schwartz and Gladding present a compelling argument that our brains are malleable and that we have the power to rewire our thought processes. By identifying and challenging the deceptive messages our brains send us and redirecting our focus, we can essentially reprogram our brains to serve our well-being rather than undermine it. Jeffrey M. Schwartz, a research psychiatrist at the UCLA School of Medicine, brings his groundbreaking research on self-directed neuroplasticity and its application to obsessive-compulsive disorder to the table. His co-author, Rebecca Gladding, complements this with her rich background in mindfulness, anxiety, and depression from her time as a clinical instructor and attending psychiatrist at UCLA. This book is not just for those struggling with negative thoughts or seeking to understand the complexities of the brain. It's a must-read for anyone interested in the practical applications of neuropsychology in daily life. Whether your brain could use some rewiring, or you're simply fascinated by the potential for transformation that lies within our own minds, You Are Not Your Brain provides both the insights and tools necessary for personal change. Join us as we explore how to reclaim control over our mental landscape and steer our thoughts towards a more positive horizon. You Are Not Your Brain, the four-step solution for changing bad habits, ending unhealthy thinking, and taking control of your life. Introduction, Unlocking the Mystery, How to Overcome the Brain's Deceptive Tricks. Have you ever been caught in the grips of unexplained sadness, anxiety, or fear? Chances are, you have. It's a common experience where gloomy thoughts and unsettling feelings can sometimes take the driver's seat, leaving us feeling emotionally handicapped. For many, life feels like an endless cycle of reacting to these somber echoes in their minds. Imagine the person frozen by dread at the thought of public speaking or someone who shies away from friendships, haunted by the belief that they're unworthy of love. If this strikes a chord, Know that there's a way through the fog. This collection of insights offers a liberating perspective. The solemn whispers in your mind aren't the essence of you. They're misleading signals from your brain. Embracing the fact that you are not your brain can be a game changer. It means those internal monologues don't have to dictate your life. Dive deeper to uncover strategies for not just tuning out your brain's unfounded narratives, but also reconnecting with your authentic self. In this exploration, you'll come across a four-step method designed to diminish the influence of your brain's misleading signals, insights into the brain's default wiring that predisposes you to unhappiness, and techniques to halt your mind's tendency to wander off a constructive path, pulling you along with it, ready to navigate away from the brain's illusionary tactics and step into a heightened state of self-awareness and authenticity Let's journey inward and discover how to turn the deceiving brain's volume down and tune into the melody of your true self. Part 1. The Battle Within, Breaking Free from Your Brain's Deceptive Grip Ever felt like you're on autopilot, engaging in behaviors or drowning in emotions you didn't consciously choose? It's a common struggle, where our minds, like mischievous spirits, whisk us away to places we'd rather not visit, emotionally and mentally. This is the realm of deceptive brain messages, a murky territory where false thoughts and destructive urges mislead us, steering us away from our true aspirations and selves. These unwelcome intruders are the architects behind a myriad of troubles, including the habit of overthinking and the specter of anxiety. Take, for instance, the journey of one particularly talented individual from the realms of Broadway. Blessed with an incredible gift for performance, His narrative took a dark turn 
when he began to entertain deceptive brain messages. These internal saboteurs whispered persistently, convincing him he was undeserving of any good fortune. What followed was a crippling stage fright and an overwhelming fear of rejection that haunted him for years. Tracing the origins of his torment, a pivotal episode when he was 20, a moment of paralysis before a renowned Broadway producer, played a significant role. From that instant, his brain waged a relentless campaign, magnifying every flaw and discounting his myriad talents. Yielding to these harrowing messages led him down a path of audition avoidance, a chronic maladaptive response that only served to reinforce his brain's false narrative of unworthiness. Yet, herein lies a crucial reality. These deceitful messages do not define him, nor do they define you. While it might seem we're at the mercy of our brain's dictates, it's imperative to recognize that we're not bound by our biological wiring. Your genetic makeup doesn't have to be your destiny. Far from it. You wield the power to surmount the hurdles bequeathed by your lineage, transforming your brain's operations in the process. Part 2. The Vicious Cycle How Brain Wiring Solidifies Bad Habits and Intensifies Discomfort Ever caught yourself in the act of a guilty pleasure, like sneaking an extra scoop of ice cream or lighting up a cigarette, and wondered why it's so hard to stop? It's a common dilemma, feeling trapped in unhealthy patterns despite our best intentions. The answer lies deep within our brain's workings, where certain behaviors, once associated with a sense of escape or pleasure, become hardwired habits. Consider the story of an executive, constantly inundated with requests for help and advice. Overwhelmed by stress, he discovered a temporary escape through the soothing embrace of a glass of wine. This initial relief, however, led to a slippery slope where one glass turned into two or more, all in pursuit of prolonging that tranquil feeling. This pattern solidified into a craving, with alcohol becoming his go-to stress reliever, transforming relief into dependency. This dynamic is at play whenever we heed our brain's deceptive prompts. For instance, internal narratives like, I'm not good enough, might push us towards quick fixes, such as reaching for a cigarette or seeking constant reassurance from others. In essence, reacting to these deceptive brain messages is akin to feeding the monster where we unwittingly strengthen the connection between unhealthy behavior and temporary relief. This flawed wiring doesn't just entrench bad habits, it also amplifies distressing sensations, making them harder to ignore. The most unsettling aspect of these deceptive brain messages is the tangible physical and emotional responses they provoke. For someone tormented by thoughts of being unlovable and disgusting, These feelings could manifest in severe physical actions, such as extreme dieting or purging, putting their health at severe risk. Thus, by perpetuating this cycle, responding to deceptive brain messages with temporary fixes, we inadvertently cement these uncomfortable sensations, making them more intensely felt in the long term. Breaking free from this cycle requires a conscious effort to recognize and rewire these harmful brain patterns transforming our response to distressing sensations and deceptive messages. Part 3. Mastering Your Mind – The Power of Self-Directed Neuroplasticity Amid the struggle against the brain's deceptive messages, an empowering beacon of hope shines through – self-directed neuroplasticity. This remarkable capacity allows us to transform our brains by purposefully directing our thoughts and attention. Neuroplasticity reveals the brain's malleability, its capability to reconfigure connections and take on new functions. By harnessing self-directed neuroplasticity, you essentially gain the ability to reshape your brain's wiring, steering it towards patterns that serve rather than sabotage you. This process necessitates a committed engagement of focused attention, steering clear of passivity. But how exactly does one tap into this potent ability? The crux of the strategy lies in constructively channeling your focus to dismantle the illusion of deceptive messages, rather than being ensnared by them as reflections of your true identity. Mastering this technique means you're effectively recalibrating your brain to be an ally in your quest for well-being. 
A poignant example of this mechanism in action involves a woman grappling with the aftermath of a stroke, which left half of her muscles paralyzed. During her rehabilitation, she was encouraged to hone in on the frustrations triggered by her slow progress. Rather than succumbing to the despair suggested by her brain's deceptive messages, messages urging her to abandon hope, she chose to view them as mere echoes of falsehood. This pivotal choice allowed her to embrace more constructive responses, fueling her determination to persevere. Remarkably, subsequent brain scans illuminated the fruits of her efforts. Her focused and valiant disregard of deceptive messages had literally rewired her brain. New neural pathways emerged, dedicated to controlling movement in her body, showcasing the transformative power of self-directed neuroplasticity in overcoming physical adversity. Such inspiring outcomes form the foundation of the author's Four Steps program, a testament to the transformative potential of self-directed neuroplasticity in harnessing the mind's ability to reshape the brain for the better. Part 4. Transformative Healing. The Four Steps to Rewire Your Brain. Understanding the potential to rewire your brain's detrimental patterns is one thing, but taking actionable steps towards change is another. Here's where the four steps method comes into play, offering a structured approach to apply self directed neuroplasticity to break free from the chains of damaging habits and thoughts. The four steps serve as a beacon, guiding you to weaken the neural circuits that perpetuate negative behaviors and strengthen those that foster positivity and health. The essence of the four steps lies in learning to relabel, reframe, refocus, and revalue the deceptive messages that your brain generates. It's crucial to recognize from the outset that the goal isn't to forcibly block these brain messages from surfacing. Such an endeavor is nearly impossible. Instead, the focus of the four steps is on learning to distinguish and discredit these false narratives, allowing you to prioritize your attention on what truly matters to you. By diligently practicing the four steps, you engage in a process that aligns with the principles of Hebb's law and the quantum Zeno effect, two key neuroscience concepts that underpin the formation and modification of habits. Hebb's law summarizes the way in which repeated activation of certain brain regions by specific actions, like taking deep breaths to calm down, creates and strengthens neural circuits. The more we engage in a behavior, the more ingrained these neural pathways become. On the other hand, the quantum Zeno effect enlightens us on the power of concentrated attention. By consistently focusing on an activated brain area, we give the brain the time it needs to adapt and rewire itself. Thus, by strategically maneuvering through the four steps and honing in on constructive and beneficial thoughts and actions, you can initiate and fortify new neural pathways. This not only subdues the influence of harmful patterns, but also paves the way for healthier responses and habits. Let's embark on a more detailed exploration of each of the four steps, unraveling their potential to craft a pathway toward mental and emotional liberation. Part 5. The First Leap. Relabeling to Unmask Your Brain's Deceptions. Embarking on the journey to rewire your brain begins with a crucial yet often overlooked step. Recognizing and relabeling the deceptive whispers of your mind. It's about turning the spotlight on these subtle, misleading narratives and calling them out by their true names. Taking this first step involves honing your mindfulness, an exercise in attentive awareness. Mindfulness isn't something you achieve overnight. It demands practice and dedication. A practical way to cultivate this skill is by setting aside some personal time, focusing on your breath, and observing the ebb and flow of your thoughts. This isn't about critiquing or analyzing these thoughts, but simply acknowledging their presence. As you practice, you'll gradually enhance your ability to notice your thoughts spontaneously throughout the day, observing them with detached curiosity. In this initial phase, the focus isn't on the themes of your deceptive thoughts, but rather on becoming mindful of their existence. Upon identifying these thoughts, your task is to label them accurately for what they are. Take, for instance, 
the case of someone who found herself constantly anxious about her solitary future, haunted by visions of ending her days alone. These intrusive thoughts consumed her, spiraling into relentless rumination. However, once she began to label these episodes as spinning or overthinking, it provided a momentary pause, a breath of space, allowing her to step back and move beyond the entanglement of her fears. Successfully identifying and relabeling your brain's deceptive messages involves succinctly tagging them with one or two word descriptors, such as worrying or daydreaming. This technique serves to externalize these thoughts, highlighting that they are mere functions of your brain rather than inherent aspects of your identity. Through the act of relabeling, you set the stage for transforming your relationship with these thoughts, acknowledging their presence without letting them define or control you. Part 6. Transforming the Narrative, the Art of Reframing Your Thoughts With the deceptive messages of your brain laid bare through identification and relabeling, the next step beckons, altering your relationship with these thoughts. This is where the power of reframing comes into play a technique focused on shifting your perspective and diminishing the significance you assign to these misleading thoughts. Imagine the plight of a person who believed compulsively checking actions would prevent harm to loved ones. Despite recognizing these thoughts as irrational, the tormenting sensation they brought on seemed only escapable through adherence to these rituals. Guided by the authors, he embarked on a journey of relabeling these intrusive thoughts as false foreign invaders, fundamentally transforming how he perceived them. They were no longer commands to be followed, but rather disturbances stemming from misfiring brain circuits. The essence of reframing lies in distinguishing these deceptive brain messages from your authentic self. Grasping this distinction acts as a shield, hindering the instinct to fall back into harmful behaviors at the behest of these false messages. Reframing can also be practiced through affirmations such as, it's not me, it's just my brain, or by identifying and addressing thinking errors that distort your perception. A pervasive thinking error is the all or nothing attitude where situations are viewed through a binary lens of either absolute success or total failure. For instance, one of the author's clients steeped in this thought pattern avoided attempts at new endeavors, paralyzed by the fear of imperfection. Catastrophizing, another mental trap, inflates the gravity of present discomforts or foretells dire outcomes, often manifesting in over-analytical what-if scenarios. This form of exaggeration serves only to heighten anxiety and deferment. By practicing reframing, you learn to see these errors for what they are, mere byproducts of a brain geared towards survival, not accurate reflections of reality. Recognizing this truth paves the way for a profound peace. Knowing these thoughts are but a small, controllable aspect of your brain's broader landscape. Part 7. Shifting Gears. Embrace constructive action with refocusing. Experiencing the tug of deceptive thoughts and urges is a common human condition, one that can ensnare us in cycles of self-destructive behaviors like compulsive eating or relentless overthinking. The antidote to these invasive thought patterns lies in the third step of our transformative journey, refocusing. This step is a strategic pivot towards engaging in productive activities in the face of misleading brain messages. Refocusing is about empowering yourself with the knowledge that, despite the onslaught of deceptive thoughts and urges, you have the capacity to continue with your day productively. The challenge is not simply to ignore these thoughts, but to acknowledge their presence and consciously choose to direct your attention elsewhere. Preparation is key to successful refocusing. Considering the difficulty of brainstorming, constructive activities, in the throes of cognitive deception, it's wise to compile a list of potential refocusing tasks beforehand. This preemptive strategy ensures you have a suite of beneficial activities at your disposal when needed. What might these activities look like? They could range from a mindful walk, where your focus is solely on the rhythm of your steps and the beauty of your surroundings, to engaging in a brief workout, immersing yourself in a good book, 
or reaching out to a friend for a chat. The essence of these activities is engagement, pulling your focus into something meaningful and positive. It's crucial to recognize that refocusing doesn't equate to distraction in the sense of escaping or eliminating deceptive thoughts. Rather, it's about acknowledging these thoughts and choosing to engage in healthy behaviors despite them. If you attempt to forcibly push these thoughts and feelings away, you inadvertently feed them more attention, thereby reinforcing their grip on your brain's wiring. Conversely, By allowing them to exist while you divert your focus to constructive actions, your mind will naturally begin to shift away from the deceptive messages, paving the way for a more balanced and healthy mental state. Part 8. Embracing your true worth. The power of revaluing. At the heart of changing the deceptive narratives your brain spins lies a crucial step, transforming how you perceive and value yourself. Contrary to the disheartening messages these deceptions convey, the real change needed is not in who you are, but in how you see yourself. This brings us to the fourth and vital step in the process of reshaping your mental landscape, revaluing. Revaluing is more than a mere mental exercise. It's a profound shift towards acknowledging and embracing the perspectives of your healthier, more loving self. It's about recognizing that your journey so far has been somewhat hijacked by the narrow, distorted views fostered by deceptive brain messages. Consider the journey of one individual, previously ensnared by the unyielding grip of perfectionism, as illuminated by the authors. The path to breaking free began with her challenging these demoralizing thoughts and resisting the compulsions driving her toward perfection. As she embarked on this path, a striking realization dawned on her. Her obsession with flawlessness wasn't a guiding principle, but a massive barrier, hindering her actions and diminishing her life's quality. To revalue is essentially to recalibrate your views, choosing to see through a lens of positivity and compassion, rather than criticism and fear. A key component of revaluing also involves mastering self-compassion, making decisions from a place of love and stability, rather than being swayed by fear, anger or sadness. The previously mentioned individual found solace and clarity by imagining what she would say to a friend in a similar situation. This approach allowed her to adopt a more compassionate and understanding perspective, one that facilitated a deeper, more meaningful revaluation of her circumstances. Through revaluing, you learn to discern the true value of your thoughts and actions, separating the wheat of your genuine self from the chaff of deceptive messages. It's a crucial step in not only disarming these messages, but also in fostering a loving, affirming relationship with yourself. Final summary. The essence of this enlightening journey reveals a universal truth. Our brains are sometimes our own saboteurs, whispering untruths that lay the groundwork for negative behaviors and habits. Yet, within this challenge lies a powerful opportunity for transformation. By embracing the four steps, relabeling, reframing, refocusing, and revaluing, we can dismantle the ties that bind us to these harmful patterns. This approach isn't merely about confronting the deceptive messages of our brains, but fundamentally altering our response to them. It's a process of recognizing these distortions, changing our perspective on their importance, diligently redirecting our focus towards productive actions, and finally, revaluing our thoughts and experiences from a place of compassion and truth. Through this methodical practice, we can rewire our brain's circuitry, paving the way to a healthier, more authentic life. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.